How much fun are the Padres, San Diego Padres, having you know, over the past past few weeks? Oh, I mean, I've had fun since I got here. I I've mean, noticed that, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had fun since I got here. So, I mean, I don't know how much fun everybody else is having, but I'm pretty sure I'm having a pretty pretty good time. But uh, you can tell, you know, the atmosphere in the clubhouse is different. Mm -hmm. You know, I came up here uh, probably about a month ago before I got here, and you know, it just wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. The atmosphere wasn't the same. And I was just here for two days and I noticed that. Yeah. But, you know, it's totally changed since I got here. You know, the atmosphere is different. Uh, you know, everybody's positive and uh, we're playing good baseball. So hopefully uh, we keep on winning series and uh, hopefully uh, end up on a good note. Why has it changed? Is it just because it's not just because of the winning, is it just from the different, the different guys who are now around the team rather than when you were here before? I guess. I mean, I, I, I wasn't here long enough last time to, to notice that, but, uh, you know, it just seemed like uh, everybody's changed. It seems like everybody is, is, is positive, and that's one of the things you need in the, in the clubhouse. You know, no matter whether you're going bad or, or good, you know, you, you still need to stay focused and you need to stay positive, and it seems like everybody's doing that. So uh, to, uh, to start a game where you're down, you know, 14 games at the half and be playing the type of baseball we're playing right now, I said something about the team. Would you say a lot of it, though, is about some of the younger guys who are making contribution, not just yourself and not not just uh, Yonder, but also a guy like Logan, Logan Forsythe, who's, who's been... I mean, we fun. have, I mean, that's the thing, you know, we have a lot of talent, you know, there's a lot of talent in this club, ball club, you know, we have a lot of talent in the minor leagues, too, so, you know, this is going to be a pretty good team. In the future, it's going to be a pretty good team, so... Yeah, it's definitely been the contribution from you know a lot of the guys. You know, it seems like we're getting base hits when we need them. Uh, it seems like we're uh, making clutch plays, uh, and we're just playing hard. And that's what that's one of the things you want to see, especially me as a rookie. I want to see uh, you know our veterans or our, or uh, our captains play hard. You know, so uh, it, it's it's been a pretty good experience so far for me seeing all these guys play the way they do. It would seem that way, and I'll tell you this, when you burst upon the scene, I mean, you made quite an impact right away with the Padres. And when I talk to teammates and people around the team, the word swagger comes to mind. Now, Yonder says, well, that's what happens when you go to Miami. It's just, have you always been that way? Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely, yeah. It, it, it's, you know, it does happen when you go to New York or Miami, because that's all you expect. You expect to win, and uh, you expect to go to the National Championship game, and you expect to, you know, battle for that number one spot every year and that's you know that's how they think of you nothing nothing lower than that our our main goal when you're in miami is to make it to omaha to win a championship so you know you got that chip on your shoulders and you got that swagger so uh you know that's one of the things that last year when i got to when i played with cincinnati and high a uh, our uh, you know our strength and conditioning coach said that to me he was like you know you got this swagger to you and i said yeah well that's what happens when you go to miami so yeah, that's one of the things uh, uh, that I took uh, last time I was here. We were in a meeting, and you know, Cameron Maven said that said that he said, you know, we need swag. So uh, I'm guessing we're playing with that. You know, that swagger is coming. You know, it's kind of like uh, it's like kind of like getting to everybody right now because you see how you know we're playing with a lot of intensity, and mm -hmm. you know, that's all it is. The swagger is just playing with intensity, knowing you're confident in everything you're doing, and uh, it, it seems like everybody's it's coming along. What's the relationship like between yourself and, and Yonder, both with such similar backgrounds, coming from Cuba, playing in Miami, being traded over in that big deal from Atletos from the Reds? What's the relationship like? Oh, I mean, that's great. I mean, I played with the, I played with the guy, you know, in Miami. I played with him in Cincinnati. With Cincinnati. And uh, it's just like, uh, kind of like a big brother, little brother type of thing, you know? Who's the big brother in this? I'm starting to wonder. Well, I mean, it, it, it changes at times. It changes at times, uh, you know. But, you know, we're always, if you if you look at games in the dugout, we're always sitting down next to each other, always talking to each other, kind of see if we could pick up something from the pitcher, uh, talking about our bats, talking about, you know, type of pitchers that they might throw to us, and just trying to help each other out. Um, you know, I think uh, as two rookies, you know, he's been in the league for longer than I have, but as two rookies, if you, if you get somebody else there to tell you and uh, if you see, if you get the outside look for somebody else, it's, it's a pretty good deal, so. Uh, two things happened this past week, and it took a while for you to get there, but we're having fun with this, and that would be your first walk and also throwing and throwing out your first base runner. Which one, which one was a bigger monkey off your back? Walk. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
uh, I wasn't, you know, I knew I was going to throw somebody out at some point. <laughs> okay. But, uh, you know, coming out of the minor leagues, I had, where my stats were like 40 watts to like 30 some strikeouts or 20 some strikeouts, you know, I was known for, for, for the on base percentage and the walks per game. And, you know, getting here and not having a walk until last night, you know, it was, it's. <laughs> That was the bigger, the biggest muggy out of my my shoulder. You know, I got to first base and I told Kadir that's my first walk of the of my major league career, and he said that he was gonna tell other pitchers <laughs> so they could get mad. So it was it was pretty funny. I'm I'm glad I got that out of the way. I noticed in your Twitter bio that you mentioned you're you're a big advocate. You work at CrossFit. Right. How long you've been doing that for, and what do you enjoy? I mean, I've done it a couple of times, and it's somewhat painful. And well, I I started uh, I started CrossFit when. Uh, my junior year in, in, in Miami, going into my junior year in Miami, the, uh, a friend of mine opened a box down in Miami, and uh, he said, you know, why don't you come over and try it out? You know, can't do any harm to you. And uh, I kind of liked the whole workout idea that they have, because I, I was doing the same thing in Miami, but a little bit more weight to get bigger. So I kind of thought about it. I started doing it. It worked out for me. You know, I looked great, and that's what scouts wanted to see. You know, what they wanted to see your body change. So, uh, I started doing that and then I kind of, you know, made up my own program where I had, uh, you know, the, the regular CrossFit, but then I was doing a, a strength program right after. So, you know, CrossFit has been great for me. I've been doing it for about three years. I do it before uh, we start, I start my regular uh, uh, baseball workouts. I do it for about a month, a month and a half down in Miami with a couple of my, the guys that I have there. And, you know, it's gotten pretty big. I went to the CrossFit Games in L.A. Uh, a couple of buddies, buddies of mine were, were doing it. Uh, so it was it was pretty good to see that. And, uh, you know, I think it's great, especially for those those people that like that adrenaline pump. Or, That's you, huh? Yeah. You're different. Well, yeah, so those people that like uh, the adrenaline pump or those people that, you know, they like to, to do crazy workouts and, you know, take it to the limit all the time, you know. That's, that's the perfect workout for you. My favorite story, when you were, you were on a radio show a couple weeks ago, and I think it was about you learning to switch it as a, as a five-year-old in Cuba. Could yes. you go ahead and tell that story again? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there was a rule in Cuba where one guy out of every team had to hit uh, at least one time from both sides. And, uh, you know, I was the shortstop and the second, the second batter at, at the time. So, you know, my head coach said, you know, you're going to have to be the guy. And I started doing it. Uh, but when I got here, you know, I didn't really like hitting righty too much because I was a natural lefty, and I started hitting with more power. So I just told, I just stayed lefty. And uh, when I got to high school, I started uh, having trouble with left-handers. So I didn't like them too much because now you got guys throwing a little harder. You know, you got the Gio Gonzalez who are with the Nationals now, so you don't want to see that coming straight at you from that side. So my uncle came up with a bright idea: Hey, you know, you've done it before. Why don't you switch to your right side? And uh, we started practicing, and uh, you know, it hasn't stopped until now. Terrific. Thank you very much.